fascinated by those diseases. Um, scleroderma, lupus, they're um, just completely unsolved diseases. They're still unsolved diseases in terms of their etiology. I think we understand their pathogenesis much better, but you know, what kicks them off is still a mystery. So fascinating diseases, and also from a practical point of view, small field with a small number of diseases. Most of it is outpatient care. Of course, you have some very, very sick patients. You can have, you know, with vasculitis and so on, but very few therapeutics at that time so that keeping up on the field, being able to continue to see patients did not require a lot of continuing clinical training. A small group of diseases and frankly, you know, if you <laughs> didn't, almost didn't matter what connective tissue disease you had, if it was really severe, you're going to put somebody on steroids and maybe cytoxan. Now we, the arsenal's grown bigger. It's uh, totally transformed from what it was 30 years ago. But at the time that I joined it, I mean, we were giving people gold shots, and that's about it. <laughs>